can now have your furry friends accompany you in Palea. This video will cover everything in the new Palea patch, including new additions, quest content, resource adjustments, gameplay changes, and new outfit and bundle. Now let's address the thing that you clicked on this video for. Pets. Available in the premium store, pets will follow you throughout your adventure, starting with the pal cats. They come as a bonus add-on with your purchase of paleo coin, including the various pale cats. Sandy pale cat, the nocturnal pale cat, the island pale cat, and the snowy pale cat. Though they were planned for beta, pets were delayed and they are now a thank you to supporting players. Where some might be upset with the real world cost, it's purely aesthetic. I know this is a heated topic, so please share your opinions in the comments below. Would love to know your thoughts on this. Stick around to the end because I'm going to go over some New quality of life features in the game. Let's start with the new additions. Zeke's Wondrous Machine has new items. Exclusive decor items from the Lucky Ball, including the Sunrise Valley set. In case you don't already know, the Lucky Coin is a part of a daily promotion for buying anything from Zeke's general store, which resets every 24 in real life hours. Quest content. There's a new quest, the Acceptance Ceremony. This is a quest for after you've chosen your ship, so it's more story content for you. If you haven't got to that part of the game yet, well, just expect more content. This game is still in beta. There's also the introduction to Found Item Quests, meaning while exploring Palea, you may stumble upon items that will trigger a quest. They all have various start requirements, but the goal will be to find them all. New outfits and bundles. Builder's outfit, spa day outfit, and the ruffled... Reading goat outfit. All will be available in the premium store. Here's something I'm excited to talk about. The resource adjustments. Killama adjustments. Increased frequency at which clay respawns. Decrease the spawn density of hunting creatures in Killama a bit. Reduce the dentist dentist <laughs> Reduce the density. Reduce the dentist dent Oh my gosh. Reduce the amount of insects. The fishing hotspot in mirror ruins have been increased. Now moving on to Bahari Bay's adjustments. Fixed a number of heat root spawns that were inaccessible. Reduced the amount of forage spawning on the beach. Slightly decreased forage spawning in the meadows. Sharply increased forage spawning in the forest. Added several more locations for foraging. Insects, hunting creatures, and mining nodes to less populated areas. Moderately increased iron spawning. Fishing hotspot in pavel mines has been increased. Gameplay changes. Items in your inventory will automatically snap to the first available empty slot while dragging to your inventory slash storage. The UI for the modification bench has been improved. You can rotate the furniture preview in a whole 360 degree view now. You can actually rotate the camera of your housing plot when you press H, so it's not fixed to one specific angle. That's nice. The amount of various items you can request have been adjusted. Some item had request amounts too high to be fulfilled quickly, so the requirement has been lowered. Likewise, worms and glowworms can now be requested at higher amounts. Insect catching now has an AOE an area of effect. The team at Palea wanted to make it a little more forgiving uh, when aiming at your insect targets. So now smoke bombs will explode on impact, creating that small AoE. This actually means that it's possible for you to catch multiple bugs at one time. I will directly link the public newsletter of all of the Palea updates in a pinned comment in this video. Did I feed you good info? Like the video. Want more Palea content updates? Uh, subscribe. Okay, thanks. Bye.